Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a second just to encourage you in some things I felt like the Lord was putting on my heart for for me and for us, and, and uh, hopefully it's a word of encouragement for you. I know that this is a tough season. I know things are, are hard, and, and I know that things have been going on now for several weeks, and the longer things go, the, the harder they can get, and you get this idea, like, oh, I'm kind of over this, and all that kind of stuff, like the newness of being able to be home, um, and stuff, so we're starting to sell into some routines, and so consequently, you know, things are dragging on, and, and there's new uh, things we're feeling as it's been dragging on and and uh, being here several weeks. And there's a word that the Lord just keeps putting on my heart uh, that I really want to encourage all of us in, and I feel like it's a word for, for me and, and a word for us, and that word is persevere. And whenever uh, God is growing character in us, or whenever he's uh, instilling us the things uh, of him, perseverance happens to be uh, one of the tools that does that. We, we read this in James. In James chapter 1, it tells us this, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, uh, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Do you know, I, I, I want to encourage us that the Lord is doing something in our lives spiritually. As much as there are things going on in, in our, our world, and we're social distancing, and we're staying home, and have all the different stresses, uh, what God's doing is he's, he's growing us, and he's growing character in us, and we're experiencing different types of trials. Uh, some of us are experiencing a trial of uh, aloneness. Some of us are experiencing uh, the trial of being not alone and surrounded by people in a very tight, confined space. Some of us are, are dealing with a trial of, of frustrations and, and short fuses. Some of us are dealing with uh, trials of um, lack of income. Some of us are, are dealing with uh, trials of working um, incredibly hard. Uh, some of us are dealing with uh, uh, trials of not working. And so we have trials of many different kinds, but the thing about it isn't the trial so much. It's the perseverance within the trial that grows our character. And I want to encourage us that as we're reaching those stages in um, our experience, we're saying, gosh, I, I, I'm tired of this, and um, I don't know how much I can do this, or the stir craziness starting to kick in. Um, recognize uh, that this is the moment um, where the greatest transition of character occurs in the spiritual level. This is the moment where God um, begins to transform things in us in a deep way. And I, I don't want us to miss that. Um, we've, we've reached the place now where the perseverance gets to kick in and it gets to finish its work. And so um, what that perseverance does is it means that um, when frustrated, we turn to the Lord in, instead of a temptation. You know, very often Satan will come to us and he will offer us a cheap counterfeit um, option to uh, ease the different pains we might experience in a trial. And if different temptations come, we uh, can respond in, in uh, anger or frustration. We can respond in uh, ways of the Lord. And I just want to encourage us all, this is the moment to persevere, to hold on to our faith, the moment to, to continue to dive into him, to cling to him, and to let him um, transform us. And what we will see um, at the other side is a character that's refined and changed and looks more like Jesus. Uh, I'm reminded of a passage we looked at um, towards the beginning of this um, pandemic and the beginning of the social distancing, and that verse was in Hebrews. That verse says this, it says, No discipline seems pleasant at the time. Um, rather, um, in the end, it produces something. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, um, but it produces or has a harvest of righteous and peace for those who are trained by it. And we talked about this at the beginning of uh, the coronavirus. Um, in this season, we can choose to do one of two things. We can complain or we can be trained. And I just want to encourage us again. We've been going through this for a while. We've been um, in this place and now we're in that, that spot where we're persevering. Hold to the Lord. Hold to the things of the Lord. Continue to look to him to uh, be your source and your help. Um, when you feel like your wits end, uh, turn to him and ask him for help. And he is going to, through the perseverance of continuing to go to him, He's going to transform us. He's going to make us mature and complete and not lacking anything. There's great spiritual opportunity here. Um, persevere. Uh, you, you've been doing well. You've been doing well seeking the Lord. You've been doing well encouraging one another. You've been doing well going and, and getting in the Word. Um, persevere. Keep going. Don't give up. Keep uh, going to Him and keep uh, reaching out to Him for help. And uh, when, when you're at your wit's end, keep reaching out to Him and saying, I, I need your help still. Um, keep pouring out your heart to him persevere i love you guys hang in there we're all in it together but uh we're in it with the lord and he's in it with us and he's present and persevere god bless y'all have a great day